Hello and welcome to yet another video of Cornerstones of Math. In this video, I will address the little quiz that I posted yesterday. The question was, between 4 o'clock and 5 o'clock, at what time do the hour and minute hands of a clock form the right angle for the first time? Alright, let's get on to it. But before we address this specific question, we must learn some basic clock knowledge. Let's start by minute hand. The minute hand makes a full rotation on the clock every hour. That is, the minute hand rotates 360 degrees in 60 minutes. Therefore, it rotates 360 degrees divided by 60 minutes, which is 6 degree per minute. Next, the hour hand. In one hour, the hour hand only moves by this much, which is 30 degrees. In other words, the hour hand rotates 30 degrees in 60 minutes. Therefore, it rotates 0 0.5 degrees per minute. Okay, now let's actually address our main question. We first need to start from 4 o'clock. Let's consider this angle. At 4 o'clock, this angle formed by two hands of a clock is exactly 120 degrees. Now suppose that the hour and minute hands form the right angle for the first time at x minutes past 4. So we have to find the value of this x. And let's use our previous knowledge. Since 4 o'clock, the minute hand rotates by this much for duration of x minutes. So this angle right here must be 6x degrees. And the hour hand. It starts from the position of 4 and rotates this much. And using our 0 0.5 degrees per minute, this angle right here is 0 0.5x degrees. Therefore, by simple geometry, we have the following relation between angles. First, this angle 120 degrees, then add this angle 0 0.5x degrees, and if we subtract this angle 6x degrees, then we have 90 degrees. Therefore, we have a simple linear equation 120 minus 5.5x equals 90. So 30 equals 5.5x. Therefore, x equals 30 divided by 5.5, which is 60 over 11 with the unit minutes. Therefore, the hour and minute hands form the right angle for the first time at 60 over 11 minutes past 4. Now, some of you might want to convert this into minutes and seconds notation, so I will show you how to do that. Notice that if we divide 60 by 11, we have quotient 5 and remainder 5. So in mixed fraction notation, 60 over 11 equals 5 and 5 over 11. So it is 5 and 5 over 11 minutes past 4. This means 5 minutes plus 5 over 11 minutes, where this part is less than a minute. So let's convert this 5 over 11 minutes into seconds. Using 1 minute equals 60 seconds, we simply have to multiply 60 seconds divided by 1 minute. Since these two are the same, thus this entire thing can be considered as unity if you take units into account as well. Or perhaps the easier instruction for most people is just multiply 60 to the number part. Then you will obtain a number in seconds. So in the end, we have 300 divided by 11 seconds. So it is 5 minutes, 300 over 11 seconds past 4. Or if you do the division again, we have quotient 27 and remainder 3. So 5 minutes, 27 and 3 over 11 seconds past 4. Or using decimals, approximately 5 minutes, 27.2727 seconds past 4. And that's all for today's video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in another video.